Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Increased hospitalizations for cardiovascular disease owing to ozone pollution find study. The first evidence that exceeding the WHO ozone limit is associated with substantial increases in hospital admissions for heart attack, heart failure and stroke is published in European Heart Journal. Ozone is a gas and the main air pollutant in photochemical smog. This study examined the association between ambient ozone pollution and hospital admissions for cardiovascular disease. The types of cardiovascular disease included coronary heart disease, stroke and heart failure plus subtypes such as angina, acute myocardial infarction, acute coronary syndrome, ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke. Dimming lights before bedtime may reduce risk of gestational diabetes, fine study. Pregnant persons should dim the lights in their home and turn off or at least dim their screens a few hours before bedtime to reduce the risk of gestational diabetes mellitus, a new Northwestern medicine study shows. Women who developed gestational diabetes mellitus in the multi-site study had greater light exposure in the three hours before sleep onset. They did not differ in their light exposure during daytime or sleep or in their activity levels compared to those who did not develop it. Gene tests from urine can predict bladder cancer years before diagnosis. Testing for genetic mutations in urine can detect bladder cancer years before the disease shows clinical symptoms, new research has shown. The study by researchers from France, Iran and the US identified mutations across 10 genes that were able to predict the most common type of bladder cancer up to 12 years in advance of diagnosis. The study was based on the EuroAMP test, a general urine test that identifies mutations in 60 genes developed by the Oregon Health Science University spin-out company. Convergent Genomics. Drawing on previous research to identify genetic mutations linked to bladder cancer, the research team narrowed the new test down to focus on mutations within just 10 genes. Falls among the elderly at home can be prevented by reducing trip hazards and decluttering fine study. Eliminating hazards around the home such as clutter, stairs without railings and poor lighting can reduce the risk of falls for older people by around a quarter according to a new Cochrane review. The review did not find any compelling evidence for other measures to reduce falls such as making sure older people have the correct prescription glasses, special footwear or education on avoiding falls. It also found that decluttering and reducing hazards had the most benefit for older people who are at risk of falls. For example, because they have recently had a fall and been hospitalized or need support for daily activities such as dressing or using stairs. Nearly one third of people aged 65 years and older fall each year. Most falls occur in at home. Professor Clemson and her colleagues analyzed the results of 22 studies, including data on 8,463 older people living in the community. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.